actually follow it. I'm not somebody that followed it when it was trending. I still follow it now because they're at court right now. And um, what I heard from the court cases is that there's a possibility, um, not saying this is what's happened, but they're just saying that it's a possibility that the other person that could have shot her was the other girl because Megan was sleeping with her best friend's basically man, who was Tory Lanez. So the other possibility is if it's not Tory, it's her best friend. But if you look at this situation, the only per actually is it the only person? Everyone's actually fucked if you really think about it, yeah. Because um, Megan was sleeping with her best friend's man. Not saying that she just deserves to get shot, but I'm just saying she was, you know, she was bad man. And then obviously Tory is a dirty dog. He was flirting with Kylie. He was sleeping with two girls who are best friends. Um, and then. Um, Lastly, obviously, the girl, if she shot her, she's out of order. I do want to say this, though. Um, not that people who like Tory would like to hear this, but Tory does have a... If you look at his past allegations, he does have a history of being violent. So if it is Tory, I wouldn't be surprised either. Um, it's just an unfortunate situation because he's, he's really talented, but we can't make excuses for talented people if they do bad things. You know, They have to suffer the consequences and hopefully learn from their mistakes because I'm a big person of forgiveness. Once someone is sorry, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, at first, I thought, right, Tori's a nutcase. But um, after the way it's going on so long, I think if, if you shot someone, wouldn't you just be in jail by now? Like, why would there be such a... But, um, yeah, man, the word of advice, girl, stop hanging around, stop, don't be in a car with guys with guns because it can accidentally go off. Now, I do think that Tory does suffer from sort of man syndrome, and I've heard people say it, but he is short. The boy's like 5'3", right? I think he did do it, OK? There's just something about Tory that doesn't sit right with me. And yes, I've heard his whole sister-wife thing, and allegedly she was seeing Megan, Megan's friend or Megan was seeing signs like that, but I personally think that he did do it. And I'm all for protecting black women, so I'm supporting Megan. I hope, you know, the truth comes out. I hope he gets convicted, and I hope she continues to rise. Well, Tori looks like he's got short man syndrome. I know a thing or two about short man syndrome. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I had a short guy once offer to shoot me in my foot because I wasn't willing to let him find out whether I'm man or woman. <laughs> they said it again? Huh? Because I wouldn't allow him to find out whether I was man or woman, yeah? He asked me if I want to be shot in my foot, the short guy. So they really be out here shooting bitches in their feet. However, on this occasion, I don't think that this is what's happened. I reckon, yeah, like on some real sister wife, orgy, community dick type shit, I reckon that the girl shot Megan. But I have to really wait for all of the facts because we haven't, we don't know what happened. We don't have any receipts. It's just true I'm toxic while I'm thinking like this. But when all the facts come out, I can really give you my real opinion, but I reckon the girl done it. I love Megan Thee Stallion, and like, I actually love her bears, but the story now, as it unfolds, like, it's starting to look like a situation where everyone was drunk and no one really knows what happened. So like, I'm not gonna put my mouth in something that I don't really know about. I feel like she should get justice, but like, the whole situation, like now they're talking about, oh, it could have just been glass that was on her foot and the fact that he's still out free. I don't really know, like, I'm not a law person, but I'm still always going to stick by Megan, but it's looking like it was just a messy night and there must have been an argument or something. And maybe he mistakenly shot, I don't know. But I don't... Now I'm starting to think maybe it wasn't as intentional as what everyone else is saying. OK. <laughs> See, he definitely shot her, but I don't know if he actually wanted to shoot her in the foot, cos, like, why would you want to shoot your friend? in the foot. I think what happened was, they were at Kylie's house that night, you know, drinks obviously were flowing, everyone was having a good time, maybe a little bit too much to drink. I think that there was some kind of like love triangle between um, Meg Stallion, her best friend and Tori. And then something must have happened in the car, either at the party, then they got to fighting in the car and somehow he gets his gun out. You know how people do, like, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna... And then somehow she ends up with fragments of, like, bullets in her foot. And I think that's what happened, because the best friend and uh, Meg Tan don't talk anymore. Why would they not talk anymore? So I think he still tried to shoot her, but not intentionally. 
Tory Lanez allegedly shooting Megan. Tory Lanez allegedly shooting um, Megan um, the Stallion. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what we're talking about here. Hey, I'm not even sure. Like, like, what's what year is it where someone categorically don't know where they've been shot, and and it's vague. I'm, like, I'm telling you this right now. If it comes out that Megan Thee Stallion is chatting foolishness, I want to see. I want to see what the women do. I want to see what the women do. I don't know how a man can be, uh, someone can get shot, and and it's even a conversation. Even got shot, you did it in it. Why we got caught? <laughs> what what we got caught for? If the fact that they got caught, it looks a bit suspicious to me. Not gonna lie. I know man that's been shot, blood. They knew who did it straight away. <laughs> and in the one way, everyone's got a camera. Where, where was the camera, man? They, they caught George Floyd. They filmed George Floyd. Where, where, where was the camera in this situation? All I'm saying is, the fact that it's going to court sounds like that nonsense to me, if I'm honest. But we'll see what happens. Allegedly. So, yeah. I mean, here's the thing, like, at the end of the day, I don't feel like a woman would, especially in such a high profile situation, would come on and lie about a situation like that. I genuinely believe that regardless of whether he shot her or not, um, she definitely got shot because she went to the hospital, there was a hospital report. And at the end of the day, like, again, it's just another thing where it's like the way the whole situation for me was handled. Whatever they had was between them two, but the way it was handled was just crazy. Like. The way he was speaking about her and the way people were speaking about her being a liar. I feel like black women are the most unprotected women in the world. And when any any anytime anything is going on with us, it is it is a lie or we're doing too much. No, she says she got shot, she got shot. I believe Megan, I believe the stallion. She hasn't got time to she doesn't need to make up a lie like this. Like and at the end of the day, you see how God has blessed her. Because she was telling the truth. Now she has got her king. She is living life. And where are you, Tori Lays? What are you doing? What are you doing? Karma. So you, this is what you treat women with. Good. And stop the domestic violence. It's disgusting. Go and get therapy.